Welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4 Golden this time. Well, we're gonna go face off against uh, the Zanami. We're finally here. Are you ready? Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get, get into this. Uh, I've got Lucifer uh, equipped. I've got Chie, Teddy, and Yukiko with me. Okay. You look creepy. Floating out there. Congratulations in making it this far. Well, thank you very much, Ms. Root of All Evil. You granted certain individuals the power to enter the TVs. You created the Midnight Channel as well. And lastly, you started a rumor about the Midnight Channel to raise its public awareness. Is this correct? Thanks, you, Fernando. All save one point. This Midnight Channel you speak of... It is indeed a device to draw hearts into this world. But it was always your individual wills that would determine what appeared on it. Humans ache to expose their suppressed sides, while the prying eyes around them are curious to see them lay bare. That's a little the weird. The want to show and the want to see. I granted a window that catered to both. That is all. Everyone wished to know more about the people who became famous through the media. And the Midnight Channel was there to grant their it's wishes. It's still kind of strange that they just happened Once to be, the you know, teenagers and stuff. entered the realm formed by human thought, they would appear even more clearly. I see. So that's how it worked. Are you saying all you did was give that initial spark to Senpai and the others, then watched things unfold? And the rumors spreading, things going wrong. We're to blame for all that's happened? People's curiosity was at fault? Everything was for your sake. To create the world mankind so wanted. Man struggles to understand one another. I don't think this is exactly you how you uh, truly know solve that. A finite number of people within your lifetime. But humans disregard this fact and try to know more people than is possible. Only by comparing yourself to others can you define yourselves. Thus, your ever-present anxiety. Your anxiety causes you to see only what you want to see, and believe only what you wish to believe. As I said, your desire is for a world enshrouded What is with your eyes? That's a little creepy. Um, I think you can say anything you want here, so I'm gonna say don't put words in our mouth. I must agree that the vast majority of people are exactly as you say. But we don't intend to live that way. If we were fine with the world you're making, we'd never have come this far, damn it! That's very true. We'll keep searching for truth and figuring out who we are as we go on with our lives. We all will. Together. That's right! No more butting into our business. Teddy, aren't you a shadow? We'll continue to live in our world with everyone else. That's why. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we'll decide our own fate. You can say anything you want. All right. Well, it's time for the final battle. So uh, let's see what we got here. An FMV, maybe? An FMV. All right. Man, it's hazy. Hazy, huh? Weren't you just looking at her? Why did you turn the other direction? Oh, that's not creepy. That's not creepy at all. That is really creepy, actually. It's huge. Come on. No bigger no than the other shadows. Way worse than this thing. This is just the send off our leader deserves. <laughs> Well, thanks to Yosuke for introducing our grand finale, and uh, yeah, this is it. Final battle, so let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Knowledge of the truth is not everything. Yet drunk with truth, you exceeded your role and became too involved. Now... Learn for yourselves whose wrath you have brought down. We're not just fighting to solve the case anymore! 
Let's go! Full throttle! Then come, sinful sons of man. All right, well, let's talk about this for a little bit. This is Izanami. This one's Izanami. strong, and light won't work. Yeah, no light, no darkness. You can't just cop out of this battle. Uh, but there's no weaknesses to anything else. Um, talk about a little bit about the skills that this uh, particular boss has real quick. Uh, she can deal electric wind and ice damage along with almighty, and she's got mind charge. Um, There's going to be a particular problem with Yukiko in this battle because she is um, weak to uh, ice, and I think uh, Teddy is weak to electricity. So we've got two party members that are potentially uh, going to be a problem. Um, so... You want to have some sort of resistance to those if you do. Um, I'm not too worried. We're almost maxed out on level. I have no idea what level she actually is, um, but I'm not too concerned. We're just going to go all out here. Um, one potential thing here, uh, she can fall into a cycle of just doing mind charge and then doing the almighty damage. Uh, completely possible, but hopefully that won't happen. I would almost rather be hit by two attacks rather than two sets uh, just being hit- okay, that's gonna suck. Alright. Oh, and she does have- yeah, we do have a few scapegoat eggplants hidden um, in our inventory still, so I'm not too worried about uh, those. I think I still have some homunculuses as well. Alright. Um, I may keep us all at full, so I think I will turn Yukiko on to uh, healing. One thing I guess you could do is just constantly rebuff your party with uh, magic reflecting attacks if you really wanted to. And I don't think- I did clear out all of my items uh, for the most part. Yeah, you can see I have a very limited amount. Um, that way, after this, we're not going to be able to use them all anyway, so you might as well sell all additional equipment that you don't have. Miss. Oh, this is going to hurt. Alright, looks like we're out of the scapegoat eggplants, so that's unfortunate, but that's okay. Uh, one thing I could do is go ahead and have... Um, Teddy and Yukiko just um, guard. Uh, at this point in time, I think between Chie and uh, you would we'll do plenty of damage and take him out. Her. This is, I, I don't know. It's a her. <laughs> What's the matter? Did you intend to defeat me with such feeble strength? All right, so there's the almighty attack. That uh, that actually rather hurt. Um, kind of expected. All right, let's keep going. And uh, uh, this boss is going to be difficult no matter what your um, level is, really, um, because it is the final final boss. So don't expect it to be easy. <laughs> All right, and yeah, Rise is going to be a little bit more active in this part, I've kind of noticed. Um, not completely active, like all the time, but she does seem to pop up quite a bit more often than um, other times. Oh, twice, really? All right, well, let's just keep, uh, keep going here. I'm kind of wondering if I should try physical attacks and see how much damage I do against her. Go ahead and heal. I definitely, definitely, definitely want to stay level or um, as healed up as possible. Um, one thing to note, real quick here, I do have um, some various healing supplies as well as you know, like the soul food here. We're gonna want to keep those because they may become necessary. 
And it looks like she's gonna fall into this little recursive thing where she constantly uses this attack. I'm not entirely surprised. I've seen this happen a few times. Let's actually go ahead and try out and see how much I can do physically. Eh, about the same, actually. Um, let's try this out, actually. We can go ahead and heal using uh, Yukiko. Hmm, not very much. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal up here. This is also why I have two healers in my party at the moment. Um, I prefer that mix uh, rather than um, full hitters. Like, well, Kanji isn't going to be too much help in this particular battle. You cannot atone so easily for your foolish pride in stepping into the realm of the gods. Um... Yosuke's not terribly useful. I don't particularly care that he's a support character, so um, probably wouldn't bring him in. I guess depending on what support um, spells you equipped him or skills you equipped him with. But uh, I really didn't have anything on him that I cared for, so... I'm trying to think. Uh, I don't necessarily care for Naoto, though she is pretty resistant um, since she doesn't have all of the elemental weaknesses, which could be nice. Alright, looks like we've got some our attacks going back. So Rise's stuff is wearing off. Alright, so stagnant air uh, increases ailment susceptibility, so that's unfortunate, but that's okay. Just keep going here. Uh, we may use that dragon hustle later, so don't worry about that. Uh, we didn't take any damage. Let's just go ahead and hit her with a uh, fire attack. Alright, Reese is going to pop back in. What is she going to do? Oh, our attack's back up. That's useful. Okay. I was hoping he wouldn't do this. Alright, we got some uh, silence. Persona is sealed. Yes, and we don't necessarily have anything in here uh, that will use anything. Um, actually, let's go ahead and use that. I forgot about that. We do actually have the sodas that will clear all ailments, and that'll be extraordinarily useful. I think we have nine of those, and I kept them just for this particular reason. It's over. Ah, missed. Alright, so that mind charge is part of that dual attack that she can do. I'm gonna go ahead and guard on this one. She can wipe your party out, and while all of my party does can actually hold on to. Um, yeah, that's exactly why I did this. Um, while your. No, oh, that's okay. Well, that's fine. <laughs> I didn't actually want him to guard. Um, while your party, due to your social links, can hold on, uh, I prefer not to have that happen uh, yet. You're going to want to keep those um, mortal blow survival skills close at hand. Alright, let's see if we can take her out with this. Not quite. This isn't mind charge, so no worries. That hurt, but it wasn't uh, wasn't a problem. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can finish her up this round. I want to heal before running in here, so let's go ahead and do that before finishing up this battle. Alright, once you've hit this... Can you not understand? It is impossible to defeat me. Alright, well this is gonna hurt. Okay, 
Now that she... So it says that she is impervious. You want to guard. Just completely guard. Um, let's go ahead and heal this round. But after this, we will be doing no attacking whatsoever. Just guard. You understand nothing, I see. Ignorant mortals. Still guard. Trust me on this one. You do not want to not be guarding on this. Um, alright. At this rate, it will be impossible to defeat to defeat Izanami. You recall what Igor and Margaret told you. That is a crystal of power which you have nurtured through your journey. An orb that repels fabrications of all sorts, dispels lies, and shines upon the truth. Truth is a thing which only appears to those who have observed, considered, and made a choice. At the end of the path you chose lies the truth. Believe in it, and continue without faltering. Alright, the Orb of Sight begins to unmask Izanami's true form. Yeah, I don't think full splendor is exactly the word I'm looking for on this one. I am a god. I'll teach you the truth of your minuscule existences. This battle will determine our future. You cannot defeat me with strength alone. Soon you will understand. Okay. We've never seen anything like her. That's very true. We now have Izanami this no Okami. And light won't work. Yeah, not only will light not work, but neither will electricity. This is why I suggest not bringing Kanji into this battle. Um, she can do, I think, any and all types of uh, elemental attacks. And she has a passive ability called Beast Eye, which she will do two attacks per turn. So this is going to be... Uh, a painful battle. But other than that, you can use anything you want against her. Uh, this would be a good time if you have any particular buffs that you want to use to, you know, use them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use Dragon Hustle to get started. <laughs> to get started, um, we'll do a little bit more damage off the, off the bat, which is going to be useful. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and heal my party up. You want to keep your party at max pretty much the entire time. Uh, Risei will help out uh, throughout the battle, of course. Um, and I do think she's a little bit more active in this battle from what I've seen. Uh, but you can't rely on her. Okay. Actually, I'm kind of surprised that she popped in. Alright, so charged up and focused. Why did you waste that? Okay, whatever. Lowered our defense, but that's okay. So we're charged up and focused, so we're going to go ahead and use a combination of um, various skills. Let's go ahead and use this. Uh, don't worry, I know uh, Chie is low on SP, but I'm not too worried. Uh, we don't need any healing right now. You may have wanted to save your SP in the last battle. <laughs> Oh, if you didn't, I apologize. I didn't want to mention that to spoil it too much. The stage is already set for your demise. I'll end your lives here. Alright, well this is gonna hurt. Ha! Ah, missed! Uh, that is one reason why I wanted to get, um... Let's go ahead and use this. Wanted to get that dragon hustle up and going right off the bat is because yeah, she really loves to hit with the with the um, status lowering stuff. Okay, so I wanted to do that, so I'm gonna go ahead and use salvation to get everybody back up and going. 
I think only Chie and you were hit on that one, but I want to make sure to keep them up too. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and yeah, actually just go ahead and attack. Oh, this is gonna hurt. That does high physical damage. Ooh, ow, that's not gonna be good. Alright, so kill the our stat increases. Alright. Well, let's just go ahead and attack. Don't worry, I think Yukiko's not dizzy, so she'll just get right back up. I won't lose. Um I'm gonna go ahead and have her attack with her fan, because she's still got that max Persona. that focus, so I wanted to go ahead and use that up. Oh, so we got it again. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and have um Yeah, him heal. Okay, this does <laughs> high almighty damage. Ooh. Okay, we're good. <laughs> um, ow, my face. Luckily we're charged up again, so let's go ahead and use that up. Ow. I'm gonna go ahead and, um, let's go ahead and use Yukiko to heal. And bring everybody back up there. Yeah, so says Oh, gonna up my defense? Ooh, SP. That's also very, very useful. Let's go ahead and hit with that charge. Fantastic. The time has come for us to end this. Alright, that reduces one target HP to one. And it inflicts exhaustion. Okay, so that combination, real quick here. Uh, the eyes reduces a target HP to one and then inflicts exhaustion, and that summons to Yami actually instant kills a target with an ailment. So you want to stay uh, ailment free if possible. I should probably use God Hand there, but that's alright. Uh, let's actually have Chie do that. So it'll do deal damage. Let's go ahead and have Yukiko. Let's do that. I think Chie is the only one that's damaged. So let's go ahead and have Teddy heal Chie back up. Debilitate is your common stuff. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, that Fury of Yasugami does high damage, uh, high physical damage to all enemies. So that's a little painful. Um, let's use God's hand. And completely and utterly miss. Fantastic. Come on. Oh, we're doing pretty good. Um, Yukiko -senpai, your defense is down. Yeah, 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 I see that. Uh, let's go ahead and have Yukiko heal. Uh, go ahead and use... Uh, He's a gigantic fist because I think he has uh, the charge still. There we go. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, a little bit. Fury of Yasugami again is a high physical attack. Ow. Not a problem. Let's just go ahead and keep going. Yeah, we're doing okay, actually. Um, I know it looks like we're running low on SP across the board, um, but I'm actually not all that concerned. Uh, one thing I could do at any point in time is I actually do have some bead chains. Um, so, I mean, if you're running low on healing power, feel free to use those. Because at this point in time, you're not going to be using them at any other point in time. Okay, let's go ahead and just use an ice attack. Alright, stagnant air, of course. That's not good. Hey, Risa's gonna pop in. Okay. I didn't know she could pop him in between. Alright, up to our attack. That's useful. And plane charge. Hmm. 
Hang on a second here. Let's see what I've got. I don't think I have that many buffing skills. I don't really use them. Yeah, it doesn't look like I really have any. Oh well, I'm not too worried. Uh, let's just keep going. I'm perfectly fine with that. And we're very, very close to having her defeated, so no worries. Let's keep going. And if you lose a, a party member due to uh, something, just go ahead and bring them back. Yeah, I'm a little worried about Yukiko, but not too worried. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh gosh. Okay, well, Yukiko's gonna be gone. Oh, except for Rise blocked it. Fantastic. Uh, the world end. Calm down. The world's end inflicts high almighty damage to all enemies. So yeah, that can really uh, that can hurt. I'm gonna go ahead and heal all ailments right now, because uh, I don't want Yukiko failing on her healing coming up here. And there's there's a possible possibility that she could. So that world's end is very very painful. All right, fantastic. That came back. Let's go ahead and heal the entire party. Yeah, don't don't go um, easy on your healing items in this particular battle. Go ahead and just use all of them. We are so so close. Okay, stagnant air again, and mind charge. Okay. Well, let's just keep banging away. We are super, super close. Like, I'm watching that little bar just decrease. Uh, nobody needs healing, so let's just go ahead and uh, use a single fire attack here. Uh, I'm not going to use the burning petals with her, simply because, you know, that SP usage is a little high. Oh, man. Accept the reality of your death. Okay. Well, that, um... That sucked. Alright, well, um... That sucks. Well, we just lost a couple people. Let's keep hitting and see if we can stop them. I don't know, are we gonna be able to bring Teddy or Yukiko back? Well, it's just me now. It's unfortunate that our battle must end this way. I don't know what's gonna happen. Well, see you next time.